Warning, the following video will feature spoilers from the second dream quest in Warframe. If you have yet to complete this quest, I heavily recommend that you do before watching the remainder of this video. Unless you're okay to spoilers. You have been warned. Hey guys, welcome to another edition of VGU Talks. It's Tom the Expert of Coles here from VideoGamesUncover.com and let's talk games. Now you guys have let your voices be heard constantly on my Destiny vs Warframe trilogy and I thank you guys for it. That debate is still going on and I really enjoy reading your guys comments on it. Especially on the comments on what I thought was the closing point of the debate where I posted up a video known as VGU Talks The Disappointment of Destiny. If you haven't seen it there'll be a link on your screen right about now so go and watch that. But I did notice a trend, quite a few of you guys wanted to know my opinions on Warframe's update 18 with the second dream. You guys wanted to know my full thoughts on it, whether I loved it, hated it, things I liked, didn't like, all that jazz. And so here I am, and we're going to talk about it. So let's answer the first question. Did I like the second dream? I didn't like the second dream. I loved the second dream. This quest line in Warframe was just outstanding. And just to put clarification on this in case you've never played Warframe, quest lines came in relatively later on in the game. I, I believe they came in uh, during the Arcwing update? I could be wrong and I do apologise if I am. Do not take that as fact. <laughs> but they came in and they were something additional and they also created a way for you to gain new things like the Limbo Warframe which was a right pain in the ass for me but I love Limbo now and Limbo is one of my favourite frames of all time as you can see on my top 5 Warframes video. As well as that it was also the questline that introduced you to Kubros and it mostly introduced you to new characters, new concepts or new mechanics which can then be become a part of your arsenal. But then we have the second dream and the second dream is going to push it to the next level. A full on story driven questline with proper cutscenes, full on voice acting, brand new musical scores that was going to answer the question, who are the Tenno? And this is something that we've, the entire community has been debating since the launch of the game, yet alone since PS4 launch. It's absolutely nuts. But you play through this quest line, you fall in love with it from the base, and then all of a sudden you're introduced to the one thing you've been looking forward to this whole time, the moon. Where the hell's the moon? You find it stuck in the void, and holy hell, it's the Orokin moon. It looks gorgeous. A, a nice balance between the aesthetics of Tower meets Orokin Derelict, which works really well for it. It really does. So you're journeying throughout the moon, exploring all the ins and outs. You're introduced to a new faction, the Sentience, which are beasts to fight against. I really enjoy fighting those now. The answer to that question, who are the Tenno? blew my mind. I loved that scene. When you when you go up, it opens up and it just reveals this guy in this really awesome leather-like suit covering from top to bottom and your Warframe just carries them as if they're a child. And as they're being carried, you're being attacked by the sentience, but you're like pew pew laser beams, which you've never seen before, come out of this guy attacking the sentience, stopping them from destroying you as you just get out. You then have to face updated stalker to hopefully get this guy back on the recovery because he's slowly dying at this point. You get him in, your Warframe is supposedly killed by the stalker and war the awesome great sword which I've really fallen in love with. It's one of my favourite weapons in the game now. And it's that moment when the stalker's night ended, this character that you saved is approached by the Lotus and then all of a sudden, after a little bit of expedition, you're creating your Tenno. The Tenno's a human and it blew my mind and I was thinking, oh my god, I literally burst into tears. It was so beautiful and such a great reveal, but when the character selection screen came up, I couldn't hold myself. 
I was bawling. I have not cried like that because here's the thing. I've cried on video games before and you may think, oh, I cried on video games. But when the story is emotional, you gain attachment to it. And then when something like this happens, you just bawl. But Warframe made me cry for a different reason, because it wasn't necessarily the story that made me cry. It wasn't how emotional it was, how deep it was. It was the fact that everything culminated to this moment. Everything I had played, everything I had fallen in love with, with Warframe, being the characters, the weapons, the gameplay, the soundtrack, the enemies, everything, accumulated to this one moment. And in this one moment, I bawled tears because I realized, I realized that this was the moment where Warframe had proven to me that it is by far the single best free to play game I have ever had the liberty to play, whether it's on PC, PS4, Xbox One or any other platform out there. This quest, this one quest line which is only the start of things to come in the future for Warframe is the one reason the one biggest reason right now that if you're watching this video and you're interested in Warframe and you're still not convinced this one quest line is why you need to play Warframe because you will play this quest line and you will either come to the conclusion that this is one of the best if not the best free to play game of all time or this game is not for you you will not understand whether this game is truly for you or not until you have beaten the second dream and that's my personal opinion it is that good and that important of a quest line that you quite frankly need to do it now before ending the video here after i've just literally voiced my full-on opinions with update 18 because i personally think it is one of the best additional pieces of content we've gotten in that game Bar none. But before I end, we do know what's coming in 18.5, and might I just say, I'm looking forward to the cat bros, <laughs> the cavats. I'm looking, really looking forward to those. I'm looking forward to the new touches they're making with the lighting system and how that's going to make the game look amazing, even more than it does now. But there is one other thing I'm looking forward to, and I might do something else on this when we get closer to release of that update for PC. There's a new Warframe coming out based around help using health and gaining health via the abilities and I can't help but think it's Egyptian orientated it uses health it's wrapped in bandages I am trying to petition that update 18.5 for Warframe since it's been unnamed as of this moment should be called update 18.5 mummy's alive so if you want to help with that Go onto the Twitter, tweet at those Warframe guys, and tweet them with hashtag Mummies Alive. Because quite frankly, Mummies Alive is one of my favorite kid shows, and it makes perfect sense for the new update. I'm looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to what else DE can throw our way as of awesome content in 2016. If you do not have Warframe on your console or on your PC right now, do it. Get it. Play it. And enjoy what I think is the best thing about that game, the second dream. But ladies and gentlemen, those are my thoughts on Warframe's The Second Dream update and update 18 in general. What are your thoughts? Let me know. This is your time to let me know how you have fallen in love with that update, or maybe even you played The Second Dream. Maybe you just weren't convinced. Maybe you played it and just thought, meh, it was all right. Let me know your honest opinions on that quest line, on that update, in the comments below, hashtag mummies alive for update 18.5. And I'll see you guys next time for another edition of VGU Talks.